This is exercise number eight from my book, Exploring the Fretboard, 100 Exercises for Intermediate Guitar. You can pick up the lesson for free. Um, you can pick up all the exercises for, for free from the videos. But of course, uh, seeing the notation and the fingering and all those things in the book makes it a little bit easier. And uh, if you're serious about learning music, you'll want, to, you'll want to see that. So there's a link for that book in the description. So number eight is playing from the seventh fret to the twelfth fret using you know your chromatic your musical alphabet your chromatic scale that musical alphabet and this is just build this builds upon exercise number seven where we played the open string to the perfect fifth or the seventh fret to the octave and back so we had that anchor point at the seventh fret so now we're just going to play from the seventh fret to the twelfth fret on each string just to um, solidify that anchor point that you learned and to remind ourselves of, of what those notes are in that area. And we're going to be saying the note names out loud because that's an essential part of the book or the exercise. I mean, playing... You can memorize that super easy, way too quickly. It doesn't teach you anything. It teaches you a fingering on the guitar, but it doesn't teach you what the notes are. So saying the note names out loud is essential. So we're going to be doing that. And doing that for a few days lets it all sink in. It'll strengthen what we learned in exercise number seven for our anchor point. Um, but it'll also just remind us about that musical alphabet once again. So uh, we just you, you must say the note names out loud and you must repeat it for at least a few days, if not longer, much longer. So uh, we'll, in this exercise, we'll be starting from the seventh fret each time. So on the first string, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, E flat, D, D flat, C, B. Second string, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat. Third string. D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D. Fourth string. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D flat, C, B, B flat, A. Fifth string. E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E. Sixth string. So when you're going over these exercises, um, if you have any um, mental gaps, like it's it's tricky, like counting back through the musical alphabet using flats, or or something like that, or you don't you don't know what the note is at the seventh fret, then you know you might either you have to repeat the previous exercise a couple more times, or you just have to give it a lot more time. You should do this until you are quite confident saying and playing it, just like I did in the video. If you're stumbling a lot, you got to keep repeating it until you're really solid. Because um, the beginning of the book, I have a it's a lot of the same material, a lot of prepping you for what's to come. But it's going to get much more difficult, and we're going to be jumping around the whole fretboard a lot. So uh, really learning these anchor points, learning your musical alphabet so you can find a note if you have to. Um, it's really, really important. We're just at the functional stage right now where we're, we're really solidifying our ability to count through the musical alphabet. And we're just building a couple of um, anchor points like the seventh fret and the octave. And I just want you to be really confident with that before we, we move on and do uh, much more difficult things. So yeah, spend lots of time with it and saying the note names out loud while you're playing. And then uh, the next few exercises will be 
exploring again single string chromatic scales, but all the way up to the highest frets on the guitar, which some people um, just haven't played up there before. And so we're going to be just doing that with the single string chromatic scales once again.